okay so today our topic is conditional construct in java we have three type of conditional constructs sequential construct conditional construct and iteration construct so what is sequential construct let's see sequential construct it is the category in which the statements are executed on one after another in a sequence you see here if we write the statements one after another it will execute one after another that is called sequential construct that means suppose we are writing one program that um, void main under void main int a equals to 5 int b equals to 10 int c equals to a plus b system dot out dot print and c that means one after another the um, uh, statements will execute first it will take int a equals to 5 afterwards it will execute int b equals to 10 and then it c equals to uh, a plus b it will add the values and then print c it will print the value that means one after another the sequence will execute that is called sequential construct next one that is conditional construct it is the category in which the statements are executed only if they satisfy a given condition that means in this case if this condition here we will get one condition if the condition is true then only it will get execute these statements but if it is false it will execute some other set of conditions or statements then it will come to the end part so here it will depend on the condition if the condition is true it will execute this if it is false it will execute this it will never execute this one that is called conditional construct next one that we will learn that is uh, iteration construct iteration construct in iteration construct, it is the category in which a group of statements are executed rapidly as long as a given condition is true. That means, if this condition is true, then only it will execute, um, this will come to this part, it will execute this one, till this condition is true. For example, suppose we have a condition here, that uh, one value, that value is less than equal to 10, if a is 1 and a is less than equal to 10, so till the value of a is less than or equal to 10 these conditions will execute afterwards if we will increase the value of a one by one then what will happen when the value of a will become 10 that till that time it will execute and when it will be greater than 10 means 11 that time it will be false it will come out from the loop so that is called loop in later chapters we will learn this thing so what is that that is if the condition is true it will execute till the condition is true our statements will be executed and afterwards if it is false it will come out from the loop so that is called iteration construct so our new topic that is conditional statements in java we have three conditional statements if else switch case ternary operator first we will talk about if else if else in if else we have four different parts first one simple if if condition then block of, sta block of statements if our condition is true then only the block of statement means the um, body will execute body of the if will execute otherwise it will not execute for example i am taking if n greater than equal to 33 then system dot out dot print n you have passed within double quotation it is in bracket within block if n greater than equal to 33 then system dot out dot print n you have passed now if we take the value n equals to 30 then what will happen n greater than equal to 33 it is false so it will not execute it will not come into inside the body but if n is greater equal to 36 so n greater than equal to 30, 33 yes true that means it will execute okay that is called if condition that one that means when n equals to 36 it will print you have passed next one if else in this case no else part is there means uh, if it is false it will not execute it will not give you any answer now next part that is if else if this condition is true definitely the body of this if will execute statement one block of statements one will execute but if the condition is false it will come out come to the else part if it is false then it will come to the else part it will not execute this part will execute this part block of the statements 2 okay so if it is true it will execute this it will not come here 
if it is false it will come here it will execute else part an example suppose if n greater than equal to 18 system dot out dot print and you can cast a vote else system dot out dot print and you cannot you are not eligible so in this case if the value of n is 17 what will happen n greater than equal to 18 false you are not eligible but if we give the value n 23 suppose then what will happen n is greater than equal to 18 yes true so you can cast a vote that is called uh, if else next one conditional ladder or nested if else if condition one is true block of statement one will execute and it will come out from the if else part otherwise else space if condition 2 is is true it will execute this part else if condition 3 is true it will execute this part otherwise if not uh, not if single conditions are true then what will happen it will come to the else part and then it will execute the body of else okay and one thing with else we cannot give any condition only with if only we can give condition for example, suppose if n equals to equals to 1, system dot out dot print ln Monday, else if n equals to equals to 2, Tuesday, equals to equals to 3, Wednesday, and so on, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and else part, wrong entry. Now, in this case, if I am giving n equals to 9, then what will happen? It is not equal to 1, not equal to 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, no. So it will come to the else part, wrong entry. But if I am giving 6, so it will check this one first, not equal to yes, false. Then it will check here, false, 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 true. So it will print Saturday. Answer will be Saturday. And next, nested ifs. What is this? If our condition is true, then the body of if will execute this is the body of if this is the body of if this one will execute if condition 2 block of statement 1 so if it is true it will come inside the body then again it will check if condition is true or not if this condition also is true it will execute block of statement 1 otherwise it will come to the block of statement 2 and after execution of this body it will come out from the else part also it will not inside it will not come inside the else part but if condition one is false it will come to the else part directly it will not execute this part will not see this part it will come to the else part and block up the statement three will execute okay again i am repeating if condition one is true this one is true it will in come inside the if part that is the block of the if it will come here it will check again if condition two is true or not if it is also true, block of statement 1 will execute. If it is false, this one will execute. But, but if the condition 1 is false, it will come out, it will come to the else part, it will execute block of statement 3 and then out. Example, suppose if n greater than equal to 1. If n greater than equal to 1, then it will come inside the body. It will check again. If n modulus 2 equals to equals to 2. If n modulus 2 equals to equals to 2, that means system dot out dot print an even number. Because if n is a number, and if you will divide by 2, a remainder equals to equals to 0, that means it is an even number. Otherwise, it will be odd number. Because if you divide a number by 2, definitely either it, it will come 1 or 2, 0, 0 or 1. Remainder will come 0 or 1. So if it is uh, 0 it is even number otherwise odd number but if n is not greater than equal to 2 1 then it will come to the else part and it will print 0 or negative number let's see if the num n the value of n is minus 5 then what will happen n greater than equal to 1 no false so it will not enter inside the if part it will come out from the if part that is else so 0 or negative number so it will print for minus 5 negative number 0 or negative number if I am giving 7, n greater than equal to 1, yes, true. Again, if n modulus 2 equals to equals to 0, 7 modulus 2 equals to 0, no, false. If you will divide 7 by 2, remainder will be 1. So it will be else part, odd. But if you are giving 10, so 10 greater than equal to 1, yes, it is greater than 1. Again, it will come here, 
10 modulus 2 equals to go to 0? Yes, 10 modulus 2 equals to 0. So, it will print even number. That is our conditional constant if else. That is called nested ifs. Now, next topic that we will learn that is ternary operator. What is ternary operator? Here we will give some variable, a value variable we will there. Here one condition is there. If condition is true, then operation 1 will execute and it will store in variable, this variable. If the condition is false, then operation 2 will execute and it will store in variable this. For example, int x equals to a greater than b, question mark, a plus b, colon, a into b. So, if the value of a is greater than b, then a plus b will execute and store in x. But if it is false, a into b will execute and store in x. Now, you see. If the value of a is 5 and b is 3. Now you see, a greater than b, yes, a is greater than b. So it is true. Then what will happen? What will be the value of x? That means a plus b, 5 plus 3, 8. 8 will store in x. 8 will store in x. Then now the value of x is 8. Now, second condition. If a is 10 and b is 15, so a is greater than b. No, a is not greater than b. False. So a into b will execute. A into B means A into B means 10 into 15 that is 150. So the value of X will be 150. But another condition if A equals to 5 and B equals to 5. So A greater than B? No. Till A is not greater than B. So again it will execute A into B that is our false part. This one A into B means 5 into 5 that is 25. The value of X will be 25. Here you see we are using three operands x, a and b. Three operands we are using. That's why it is called ternary operator. 